Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Le My Anyways, welcome to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. So last episode I said I do a bit of offline work. Also uh, my uh, not that just what am I doing? <laughs> uh offline mining and here are the results. I compacted all the redstone into blocks. Bunch of lapis, a crap ton of iron, some useless gold, five diamonds, and six emeralds. And as you see, I've been using iron tools. But I also went and used this AFK fish farm for quite some time. Got this really good fishing rod with a mending, luck of the C2, and unbreaking 3. And this insanely good bow with a mending power 4, unbreaking 3, punch 1, and flame. This is like the best bow to exist. And. Uh, if you're wondering how good this fish farm was, I filled this chest completely, this chest completely, and almost, like, almost halfway to this chest. But yeah, it's it's been doing pretty good. Um, so, for this episode, what I want to do is go to the nether. But before we do that, I should uh, gear up. So, as you can see, I made this anvil and this enchantment table. And offline, I made 12 bookcases, or bookshelves. And I'm gonna need a place to put all these. So let's grab the table. Over here should be good. All right? No, no, there's not enough space. Uh, I have stone, don't I? I should. Actually, under here might work. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Level 24. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, well, I mean, that's good enough. Okay, so what I want to do is make ourselves a diamond sword and a diamond pick. So let's do that. Alright, and let's. Oh, I need to sleep. Uh, let's see what good enchantments there are. There's also all of the enchanted books, so... Let's see, sharpness 3, knockback 1, sharpness 1, uh, efficiency 3, efficiency, okay. Let's see what <laughs> enchanted books there are, maybe there's something good. Uh, higher aspect 2, that could be good. Efficiency 4, yes please, for diamond pick. So that go here. Uh, channeling. Uh, I don't know what that is. Flame. Pluck of the sea. Fire aspect two. Mend. Oh yes, that 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 pickaxe. Yes, please. Uh, punch. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Smite four. Efficiency four again. I could combine those two and get efficiency five. Number three. Sharpness three. Sharpness 3 again. I don't think I can go up to Sharpness 4. And I'll get a Fire Aspect 2 book. Alright. That should be good. Hello. What is happening? Okay, so this thing is basically useless now. <laughs> I need to... Alright, pickaxe. Efficiency 4. That's actually cheap. And both of these? Yes. Only 6. Wow. That is amazing. That is a really good pickaxe. Now all that's needed is um, fortune, but I haven't gotten any of those books yet, sadly. Sharpness 3 and Fire Aspect 2. Alright. We are now prepared. We just don't have arrows. Just throw the rest of this stuff in here. Uh, we don't have arrows. That's the only issue, but... I don't have feathers, do I? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, anyways, 
Let's make this another portal. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can make it. I guess actually right here works. Uh, yeah, this should work fine. All right, so. is uh, interesting animation uh, anyways uh, let's get a flint from our mini flint and an iron make this make this um, I don't know if we should get 10 other obsidian I guess that might be useful also might want to write down the coordinates of this base so I do not die I mean if I do die then I know no if I get lost then yeah okay let's write these chords negative 62 and negative 22 all right uh, let's go get some more obsidian head back and into the nether all right here we are and we got a nice opening oh that is a quite a deep fall how big is that Oh my god. Jeez Louise, that is huge. Alright, anyways, there's some nether quartz up here. I guess I might as well get. Oh god, I mine this so fast. That's gonna be a mild issue. Also, there's a gas. I'm just gonna turn all my sound down. That should be good. Oh, goodness, it's up there. And there is the bending going to work. My pickaxe is already back up to full durability. Oh, I like nether quartz. So what all are we exactly looking for here in the nether? Uh, soul sand, because in 1.13, because uh, it's the aquatic aquatic update, um, soul sand pushes you up in water, while like the magma blocks pull you down. So if we can find both of those, that'd be great, because I'm planning to make a base in the sky I don't actually know what I'm doing for a base yet, but that's my current plan. Now there are the magma blocks there. I also wouldn't mind finding another fortress. Actually, let's take the coordinates of this portal too. So negative 18 and 13. All right. So let's, oh goodness, there's the gas, and I don't have arrows. Uh, let's hope I don't encounter him. God. I don't know if I can survive a drop that far. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, no. Uh, wait. This might actually be not okay. Oh goodness, let's hope none of this burned. That'd be terrible. Especially after I just made all the good weapons and stuff, you know? 
All right, seems like we are okay. All right, did that guy even drop a gas tier? Oh wait, he did. That's pretty good actually. So I wanna find another portal actually. Glowstone is good too, but I do wanna find another portal. Not another portal, another fortress. Cause uh, blazes and their blaze rods are pretty good. Now, I do have a Silk Touch book, but I'm planning to put that on a... I don't know if I want to put it on a Diamond Pick or an Iron Pick. One of the two. If I'm putting it on a Diamond Pick, I'd need to go more mining. <laughs> but I still haven't found any fortune, and like, that would help a lot with mining. Alright, we got a bunch of glowstone. That's real nice. They look really good in this texture pack. But let's go find a fortress. Hopefully one isn't too far. Okay, that was close. Oh no, 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 no. <sighs> Let's not die, let's not die. Please. Not now, not now, not now. No, please, please. No! Oh my god, are you joking? Ugh, oh, gosh dang it. Freaking nether is a mean place. Oh god. Oh my god. I got my items back. I got my items back. Oh my god. Oh. Whew. Oh no, where's my meat? Not my meat, that sounds bad. My food, I don't have any food. How did that burn? What? Are you joking? Okay, well I need food really badly and I don't have any. So we need to go back to the surface. Oh, that was so much food though. Oh my God, are you joking? Oh my god, oh my god. Do not see me. I do not exist. I do not exist! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Oh. One block ridge. Oh my god. How am I still alive? Oh. <laughs> that was crazy. I do not know how I survived. Alright, so because we obviously have oh, ah, lots more time in this episode, um, what I want to do is make a small area because I've just been using those furnaces over there. And they haven't been uh, very fast, obviously. So I want to make a super smelter, or at least a basic super smelter with hoppers and whatnot. So just going to clear out this area.
All right, that should be long enough. How many furnaces do I want? Probably eight because that's all I have made. I already have some stuff in here. Oh, I was, oh my goodness. What was I cooking? A lot of dried kelp. Because if you didn't know about this dried kelp, if you put it in a 3x3, three three, it gives you a dried kelp block. And that smelts 20 items. So it's pretty good. And kelp you can easily gather from the ocean. So yeah, alright. So, what's the easiest way to set this up? Let's just do this. Alright, there's the night furnaces. And so, one of the easiest ways to do it is a minecart with a hopper instead of making a bunch of separate hoppers. So we're gonna need, let's just grab a stack. I've got my inventory. Let's put all this stuff in here. Okay, we need some sticks for the rails. We need eight for a chest for a uh, hopper. And some iron for the minecart. Alright, that should be everything. So, like this for rails. Yep. Um, like this for the hopper. Uh, this for the uh, minecart. Combine these hopper with a minecart. Alright. Okay, so if I... Oh, I'm gonna need power rails, aren't I? Yeah, I need... I need gold. I can actually use my gold, what the heck? What is this madness? This... oops. Alright, powered rails. Oop, not there. Right, uh, blocks at both ends. Can be turned on by levers. So, can I just... Excuse? Okay. Uh, lever here, does that work? Yes it is. Lever here. Alright, so that works. Now, are these gonna need to be over? Because, like, in that case. If... Hmm. I think these might need to be over hoppers. Yeah, okay. These. This is gonna need to be over hoppers, so let's get rid of that. These. Get rid of all these. All right, so we're gonna need eight hoppers, which is eight chests, which is uh, 64 logs, which is, no, eight logs, 64 planks. So let's go ahead and get this stuff. So all these need to be leading into here. And this is where we put this stuff. Right, that there. That there. Right, my phone just fell. <laughs> All right, so we can have this turn on and off so that when we want to load up with items, we can turn it off and there'll be like a chest here, another hopper. So anyways, let's put this in here. A, uh, another hopper, 
Need more wood. Have enough. Man, hoppers are expensive. We need to make an iron farm sometime. That is definitely an upcoming goal. Alright. Uh, I need another chest, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, where's my wood? There it is. Okay, so we're just gonna need put this here. Just gonna push that over there. Look at the chest there. Alright, so if we put items in here, that'll get put into no. What? Wait. Where are the items? Oh. Oh, right. That. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Um, what if we put... Hmm. What if I extended... Yeah, I'll just put this over one. Just there. Okay. All right. That should work. <laughs> Finally. So this should be our super smelter done. Uh, just get rid of all this gross dirt. Ooh, the bottom should be stone, but I am missing one stone. Oh, whatever. Um, I could fix that offline. Actually, I need torches. Hold on. Let me light this up first. I have some sort of torches. Guess not. Alright, so there it is, our beautiful super smelter, uh, to do something to test it, let's grab this dried kelp, let's make seven, actually I want to make eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, alright, so let's make eight kelp blocks, and let's just grab a stack of cobble, that is not a stack, stack of cobble. Alright, so if we put the kelp in here, oh that needs to be turned on, but well, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. And this chest with cobble, turn that on, alright. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this doesn't have kelp in it because this starts off. This makes it have two, right? Yeah, that, that's the only issue. But this isn't getting any cobble in it, so that's fine, I guess. Oh, it's because it's not giving it a chance, right? Alright. It's because it's not giving it a chance, right? Oh, this already finished? Oh, it put all of it in there. Oh, that's a mild issue. Um, you know, this might work how it works. Um, the only thing to fix it is I extend this part out one way so that it gives this thing a chance. Uh, that's all I could guess, but I mean, it works for now. Uh, I could add more hoppers to take it out of this and just put it in chests. But, 
Um, that's more iron that I don't have. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Minecraft Let's Play. Offline, I will do more AFK fishing. That's usually what I do offline. And also gonna do more mining down in the mine shafts. Also, offline, I made these staircases, if you didn't know. I forgot to mention that. But anyways, offline, I will do some more mining, some more AFK fishing. I might even find another fortress. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!